hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel in this video i would like to demonstrate another powershell script that i created the name of the script is um, static image optimizer and what this is going to do is uh, it's going to find all your um, static images process them using epip mpeg and uh, remove the metadata and co compress them and co convert them into webp format so link to this will be available in the description and let's uh, try it out on this hospital management system uh, that we have worked on previously uh, here on youtube so what i'm going to do is i just have to copy or git clone the code and the instructions are already provided in the readme as well so here i have opened that off and uh, what it is going to do is first it's gonna check whether you have fm fpeg or not and once you have fm mpeg uh, we are going to use it to optimize the static images uh, of your project so this can be used for laravel as well as other projects uh, any i guess any web based application uh, in any web based application we can use this script to optimize the images and why should we optimize the images one reason for that would be like uh, whenever you store uh, an image storing it's it's, it's going to have the metadata right so uh, you shouldn't have um, you shouldn't put images that have metadata on uh, on your website because there uh, and it could be uh, privacy privacy related issues right it, it can cause privacy related issues and uh, another reason would be the the size of the image would be um, quite big so we will use epic to process the image and optimize it so here is the script if you want to um, change it for yourself you can uh, do that as well mm -hmm. so here you can see it's going to find the jpg jpeg and png files and process them through epic the command is uh, given here and it's going to um, invoke the expression and then it's going to show the um, statistics like how many files did we proceeded and it's and so on and so forth so here we have to pass the polar path and that's going to be uh, in let's say in uh, in case of laravel we are going to pass the public folder path since there um, that's where we have the static images right so if i go to public in this hospital laravel hospital management system uh, we have images folder and we have other other folders as well so uh, in the previous script as you saw that uh, we removed the unwanted uh, unused assets unused images css and so on and so on and so forth uh, and now we are going to use this script uh, to um, basically uh, optimize the images that we have in this uh, project so i'm going to go to public folder and let's just have that as a root path and it's gonna we can pass other folders here we have just the storage and i'm gonna i'm now gonna optimize the storage because um, user is gonna upload these pictures from the um, ui so let's suppose we have optimizer um, whenever you upload an image we have optimizer that will optimize the and uh, process the image using fmmpeg uh, or if you want you, you can just uh, remove this line and it's gonna uh, you can remove these folders and it, it will uh, just work fine meaning it will process all the images that we have in the storage folder as well all right all right so what i'm going to do um, i just have to um, put this path right here and if i just remove its status um this is the script.vs one i guess i can just remove it since i have it no no okay stash i don't have to remove the script okay i thought i was here in the hospital management system project i have to run the git status command here we, we don't have anything so let's just clear this and if i uh, check the um size of this public folder it's uh, 21.2 mb and uh, now let's run this optimizer against that uh, project and see uh, what it is going to how it's going to optimize that so i'm going to run script.ps1 and let's see how it goes okay so the processing is completed and you can see all the mm, images that were inside the storage folder are skipped and we have the summary here total 34 uh, 34 files processed 23 of them optimized and 11 skipped you can see that right here okay so since we have optimized that the size should be changed from what we had before and now you can see that it's a uh, 14.2 mb instead of 21.2 mb so that is uh, the static image optimizer and uh, now we can serve the application this uh, hospital management system and we can see the uh, we can still serve the application we can still view the images but um, now the they are optimized and um, the metadata from them is removed 
and if you want to check out the metadata how you can use the exit tool um, you can use the tool to view the metadata of any image there is a command line ut for that as well and you can use the online version of that but uh, putting images that have metadata in them uh, online might be privacy concern so keep that in mind and here is the static image um, optimizer you can use this script to optimize the static images or your project so link to this will be given in the description below and you can check this out and here is our project uh, looking good so far and sometimes you will uh, see images that the quality of the images might be reduced so for that you can just uh, adjust the values um, or the arguments of the mpeg command that we have so we are using the same uh, scale um, scales um, width and height of the image that we are currently processing and uh, you can play with these arguments to um, see what arguments serve the best for you uh, best on your project images so that is it for this video um, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one